Hello YouTube. I'd like to make a quick video today, tutorial video on how to create a bus in Cubase, Cubase 8.5. Um, I know I had issues with this when I migrated from Pro Tools 12 over to Cubase 8.5 because um, I'm used to uh, Pro Tools making buses for us and Cubase does not do that. You have to create your own bus and name it and and then to route audio through it. So I want, let's get started here. Um, so here I just got a little tiny small track, few tracks here that I created real quick. Um, if you go to devices and you go down to uh, VST connections and you make sure you're on the output tab, um, by default I think it always starts on the output tab and then you go to add bus since we are and we're doing a mono guitar track we'll just keep it mono and I'll name this bus one add bus now it comes up here as the same ACO driver as the stereo out but we don't want to have an ACO driver on that we just want it going to nothing so if you left click that Go to not connected and then you're done um, hit the X on that now if we go up here to guitar we will right click here and add a track and add an audio track and I'll simply just name it get to and we want that to be mono configuration and output routing to be stereo out so add track okay so when we go to get we want to make sure that instead of being stereo out, we would like that to be bus one. If you look right here, I've got bus one. So we select that. Get two, if you select that, you want that to be receiving the output of that bus one. So we select that. Now, if we initialize or monitor that track, hit play we should have readings on our meter we do it so now you could out. you could actually record that guitar to that track um, I don't know why you'd want to do that unless if you were summing a bunch of guitar tracks to a single stereo track or mono track however you want to do it but this is mainly I want to go into easy drummer because this was kind of a a tough situation to try to route easy drummer into a, a track to have drums from MIDI because it's a little bit of a different way of doing things so now if we go back to the guitar and instead of guitar I'm gonna rename this drums and I'm gonna take this routing of this guitar track back to the stereo out so we don't want it going in there anymore so instead of on Easy Drummer here, we'll select the track and you go to the E right here underneath the M of Easy Drummer. You select that and you want to create a, a send and you want the send to be bus one. So you select that, make sure you turn it on by hitting this little arrow or, or this little uh, round circle with the line up on it. Now we're on, we're armed and we're done with that. Now we want this drums track to receive that. So the input would be from bus one or output to bus one. And just have it going to the stereo out. So now, since it's armed, we should be able to press play and get some reading on our meter here. And there it is. It's just drums. It reaches now, if you wanted to wanted to make that a stereo track which you could um, we'll just remove this track we'll create another track add a track audio track and we'll make that a stereo track we'll call it drums add track it'll be right underneath that and then all we have to do is just point that that in from that bus one Oh, no, we got to change that actually because the bus one is 
not stereo. So we'll go back to VST connections. We'll remove that bus one. We'll add a bus. It'll be stereo. We'll call it bus one. Add the bus. Same thing, take that generic and make that not connected. We're done there. Now here on draw on the easy drummer, we gotta make sure we point that in the right direction. Again, we'll make a send. And we'll go bus one, it's left and right, because it's a stereo bus. Turn it on. And when we go back to our drums, instead of being a stereo in, we're gonna go with that bus one right here. It's a stereo. So now when we hit play, we should have sound coming through there. There we do, it's a stereo signal. So I'm gonna record a little bit here and we'll we'll just listen to it and and make sure everything's working properly. So now if I mute my drums and we go back here, we can actually listen to the drums and this is what's actually playing when I just recorded. It reaches out it grabs a neck and that's how friends away away. have it please if you like this video I'm gonna make other videos I'm gonna show you how in the next video how to split up the easy drummer one shot so like if you've got a snare a bass a kick and uh, toms floor toms hi-hats overheads I'm gonna show you how to split all those up into the individual tracks and actually route them to each individual track and record them as audio so then you can do uh, a better mix down and get the sounds and the levels and add special effects that you want added to a uh, kick or snare. And you can add them on the ind individual track and not actually change the sound of the kick drum when you change. Whereas right now, if we would add uh, reverb to that, it'd be adding reverb to the whole kit. Um, so that on the next video, I will show you how to do that and keep your eye peeled for that in the next couple days if you like this video please subscribe um, if you don't like it give a thumbs down um, if you want to critique it leave messages in the comments um, I look forward to hearing from y'all thank you